A tow truck loaded with fallen bricks, too much for a tow truck to handle. Those bricks came crashing down from an old building in downtown Buffalo. The collapse came without warning. Catholic Health's surveillance camera caught it as it happened. Dozens of bricks falling to earth and on that truck. Fortunately, no one was injured, but now the entire building will likely have to come down. All of this happened on North Oak Street in Buffalo a little before 11 a.m. Almost the entire front face of the upper part of the building collapsed. Firefighters knocked down the rest of the building to one story for safety reasons. They also say the strong thunderstorm that moved through this afternoon caused more damage. We did have a secondary collapse, the front of the building. More of the building fell in on itself. So fortunately, we had the exclusion zone already set up and no one else got hurt. Demolition crews will be back on North Oak Street tomorrow morning to continue taking down the rest of the building. This building is well over 100 years old. Developers say they tried to apply for a historical designation. That would have helped speed up much needed repairs. But now they'll have to start from scratch. Tonight, Jeff Rusak takes a closer look at the building's rich history and the struggle to try and bring the site back to life. A little piece of Buffalo history came crashing down to earth Friday. 324 North Oak Street was built in the late 19th century by the George Urban family as a flour mill, a specific type of flour mill. And it was Buffalo's first roller flour mill. So that allowed, you know, state of the art technology that allowed for a much finer flour. Members of Preservation Buffalo Niagara were on scene after the collapse. And this has to, you know, then kind of turn to asking those bigger, deeper questions of why did we get to this point? How did we get to this point? They believe they know how the building got to this point. In there, that original owner was allowed to let those buildings, you know, go to rot and, and crumble like they did today. Preservation Buffalo Niagara has been working with the building's current owners to find a way to preserve and find a new use for the building in downtown Buffalo. Historic rehab work is really expensive, uh, so finding ways to be able to, uh, you know, make that facilitation of these projects happen would be uh, another step. They were trying to address the issues with this site. It's that the previous owners allowed it to get this far. According to Preservation Buffalo Niagara, the building was eligible for tax credits. And that owner was working on figuring out what their plan was, what the stabilization plan was going to be, and how they could utilize historic tax credits. Crews will continue to work on the building throughout the weekend. The owners of the building did have a stabilization plan that was approved by the city, but due to COVID-19, couldn't get workers in there for five months. So the building kept deteriorating. Reporting in Buffalo, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.